welcome students, parents, carers and the community to the subject selection information video one. Before we start, I'd just like to introduce myself and, and Kalani. Kalani is a pretty amazing young man. He actually built his own didgeridoo here. Um, so the didgeridoo that you're going to hear him playing right now, he made with his own hands. So I hope you enjoy it. to thank Kalani Harris from Year 8 for your acknowledgement to country and I too would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land and welcome everyone here to this video. This is one of a series of five videos to help inform your child and the student's subject selection process. This video will be looking at course selection overview, HSC credentials and HSC marks. This PowerPoint was put together by the New South Wales Education Standards Authority in consultation with the Department of Education to help assist schools to provide the relevant information for students and their parents. Cost considerations that we need to consider and we're encouraging our students to consider as they're going through this process is the choice of subjects, or are the choice of subjects that coincide with your child's abilities, their interests and motivation. We want them to be in subjects that they're interested in and wanting to achieve in. We want to align them with, align them with their career aspirations and needs. We want them to be aware of their, the syllabus requirements, whether or not um, courses require them to complete major or practical works, work placement, examinations, the combinations of their subjects and whether or not they are aspiring to get an ATAR, a HSC, an apprenticeship and other opportunities, ideas or concerns they may have about their education. The higher school certificate is an accumulation of their school career. It is their highest achievement they can receive in a secondary school and reports on their achievement throughout their time here at Warrawong High School. Each course, HSC course, has a unit value. Most courses are two units, which equates to 120 hours face-to-face -face study that means that they will spend 120 hours face to face in classrooms for each of the two unit courses. And some courses like your extension one English and extension one and two maths are one unit courses. These one unit courses. Or within these one unit courses, students spend less face to face time with their teachers. Within year 11, Students have to complete at least 12 units. This means they need to complete at least six courses throughout year 11. 
In year 12, they need to complete at least 10 units, so five courses. Whether or not your child drops to 10 units in year 12 will depend on the courses they choose in year 11. We will determine if a child remains on 12 units or drops to 10 units in year 12, depending on the requirements they need to meet, meet the HSC expectations. It is compulsory for every student to complete an English course or an English course. They need to have at least six units of board developed courses. They can complete a maximum of six units of science in their year 11 pattern of stu study. It is important that students meet the HSC literacy and numeracy minimum standard. It is the expectation of every student to meet the minimum standards in reading, writing and numeracy in order to receive their HSC certificate. Throughout years 10, 11 and 12, your child will gain the opportunity to sit these exams or assessments until they achieve that minimum standard. We have support in place and people working, teachers working with your students to support them in achieving this minimum standard. Each of these assessments have 45 multiple choice questions and the writing expects them to answer one question. Board developed courses are developed by NESA and all students in the state study the same course content and complete the same HSC examination. These courses may contribute to the calculation of a student's ATAR. Board endorsed courses have syllabuses endorsed by NESA to cater for a wide range of students. These courses may offer an alternative career path for students. Determining whether or not your child should be engaging in with board developed courses or board endorsed courses will be communicated to both you and your child during the subject selection process. It is a responsibility of the University's Administration Centre, so UAC, to determine if a course can be included in the calculation of an ATAR. Category A courses have academic rigour and depth of knowledge to provide background for tertiary students. Category B courses can be included in an ATAR calculation, but only two units. What is important for students to note is the satisfactory completion of a course is determined on their ability to apply themselves with diligence and sustained effort. It is important for students to ensure they're completing tasks to the best of their ability. They are attending lessons regularly and they are, cons they are consistent with their application. It is also important to note that for some course courses, mandatory work placement needs to occur. Therefore, students taking on subjects like hospitality and retail services need to be prepared to go out into the workforce and complete work placement. Students must complete HSC assessment tasks that contribute in excess of 50% of available marks in courses where internal assessment marks are submitted. It is also important that they sit for and make a serious attempt at any requisite high school certificate and examinations for a course.
students will continually complete a confirmation of entry where they check that they are enrolled in the correct courses in years 10, 11 and 12. All year 10 students in term four will complete an all my own work mandatory program. Students cannot be enrolled in year 11 until they complete this program. HSC credentials. Students are currently completing their first ROSA year. They will continue their ROSA in year 11 through to year 12 with the satisfactory completement of courses in year 12, they will receive a HSC certificate. This is a sample of a higher school certificate. This is an example of their record of achievement. This is an example of their course report for, that they will receive for each course they complete. For further information, please visit the following two websites. HSC Marks. In year 12, it is paramount that students complete formal assessment tasks. The accumulation of their formal assessment marks at school go towards 50% of their HSC reported mark. The examination they complete at the end of that course equals to the other 50% of their HSC reported mark. In year 12, it is essential that all formal assessment tasks are complete and students attend all mandatory external examinations. Thank you for watching video 01. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact the school and speak to Mrs. Christine Goldsbink, Mrs. Cassandra Napier and or Mr. Peter Cattle. Thank you.